Hey everybody, John Peterson here, talking to you from the world headquarters of John Peterson Photography, which happens to be in my backyard. We are still in the midst of this pandemic and, uh, you know, looking for things to do. And I wanted to kind of introduce you to a product that I've found and been using for the last three or four months and have been really, really impressed with it. I'm one of those photographers who still uses filters in the field and it's something that I recommend that all my clients do as well. I, I strongly believe in getting the shot right in camera as much as possible. There's some things also that, that you can't fix in post such as glare off the water and glare off foliage from, from rain. And so using filters in the field helps you really get the best shot possible in camera before you ever get to post processing. I've been using uh, graduated neutral density filters for years as well as up here in the Pacific Northwest living with a uh, circular polarizer is another essential. And you know always enjoyed been using them forever. I've, I've used all the major brands that are out there over the years and and one of the things that always kind of struck me as a challenge is how do you use a circular polarizer and a GND on the front of that. How do you rotate the, the CPL filter and have your GNDs in front? So in the last few years there's been a large advancement in uh, the development of new filter holder systems. And one of them that caught my eye recently is from a company out of the UK called H&Y. H&Y, also known as Handy Filters. They've been in business for many many years over in the UK. They haven't made a lot of inroads in the US or just starting to. Um, but their filter system is a magnetic one, and it's absolutely fantastic. I've been using it, as I said, for three months, and am a, an, an absolute believer in using this system. You know, for many years, I ran with a DIY filter holder for my GNDs, and it worked extremely well until I moved to glass filters. And glass filters are a lot heavier than resin. Um, but the, I, for me, the advantages of glass are worth it. I think glass is more optically pure than resin. It, does, it has less chance of, of uh, color cast, virtually unbreakable. They are a little bit heavier than resins, but I tell you, it's, for me, it's been really worth it with this transition into glass filters. And, uh, you know, h and y makes their own filters. They, you, there's also a way to use after other f people's filters in this system as well. But what I ordered was the K100 magnetic filter holder, and you can see this here. And when they ship it to you, they, they ship it with some adapter rings, so you can screw these on the front of your lens, and then place this in the back of the filter, and this is the way the, the filter holder attaches to your lens. These kind of step-up rings or adapter rings are pretty common, and you, should, you guys should all be familiar with them. The thing that with the K100 that I ordered, it has a drop-in circular polarizer. If you don't want to use the circular polarizer, you can remove it out of the filter holder, put a little, um, put a little spacer here to stop any light leak. But if you do want to use the, the circular polarizer, all you do is take this and drop it right on in. And you have a CPL behind the graduated neutral density filters. And then to turn the CPL, you see this little scroll wheel right here? All you do is move this and dial in the amount of polarization that you want and you have your GNDs on the front. This is machined out of uh, aluminum, so it's lightweight, it's strong. The quality of manufacture is absolutely incredible out of this, and I've been, I've been super happy. It's been really easy to use um, to get on and off my, my lenses. The step-up rings that they give you are from, I think, 62, let's see, what do we got here? 82, 77, 72, and 67. So, all the major lens sizes are covered with these. If you need to get more, you can find all sorts of aftermarket ones off of eBay. The filter holder comes in a wonderfully made padded pouch, of course, so you can transport this in your backpack. H&Y also makes their own filters, and the majority of their filters are made out of Corning's Gorilla Glass, which is incredibly strong. It's the same stuff that's on the front of your smartphones. 
They also use Schott, S-C-H-O-T-T -T glass made out of Germany, which is the other optically pure glass that's available on the market. So their filters are really well built, really well designed, and really well engineered. But the thing that really sold me on H&Y was their filter holder system. So here we have one of their six stop filters. And the thing with H&Y is they build a magnetic frame to go around these filters. So this little plastic frame that's around the side, it's got little teeth and a little gra graduation so I can dial it in on the front of the holder. But this has embedded magnets that match up to the magnets in the K100 filter holder. So all you need to do, basically just drop the filter right on the filter holder and the, magnetic, the magnets hold it. It's easy to slide up and down if you want. Then there's a thumb screw over here on the side. If you don't want your filters to move, you just screw that down and the filters will not slide. Easy on, easy off. And this frame, I tell you, makes it super easy to hold your filters without putting any fingerprints on your glass. So you can buy H&Y filters if you want, or, and this is the part that's really super cool, is they will sell their magnetic frames all by themselves. So you can put them on existing filters that you already have. So in this case, I have an existing glass filter. It's a 100 millimeter by 150 millimeter. It's uh, three stop GND soft and I didn't want to buy a new filter. I wanted to continue using this one so I bought one of their frames. Came beautifully packaged, easy instructions. There's, there's slots in each one of these pieces with little bits of uh, two-sided tape and then what you do is you press the filter into the slots and then each one of these ends clicks together so it's not going to come apart. So, buying the frame, I can convert an existing filter, so I don't have to buy a new system, into a magnetic filter hold, filter system. Absolutely stunning for me, because I did not want to reinvest money. And the cool thing is, is that when you buy one of their, just even their, their filter holders, they'll include this wonderfully soft neoprene pouch. Here's another filter that I put an, an existing or a magnetic frame on an existing filter. And if I want to stack filters, all I need to do, huh, magnets are backwards, all I need to do is glue these, drop them together. I can move one up and down, I can move both up and down if I want, doesn't really matter. And the cool thing is I can keep stacking. So I've got a two stop and a three stop, and then if I want to throw my six stop on the front of it, look at that, I sure can real easy and real simple to use and don't forget I've got the added bonus of the circular polarizer here on the back side of, of all of these flat filters on the front so H&Y filters you know I'm in the three months I've been using them I'm an absolute believer in them um, you can find these now at B&H Photo you can find them at Adorama you can also order direct from the UK. They'll ship out in about five to seven days. There won't be any VAT tax or anything like that. Um, if you leave a comment or hit me up, I might be able to give you a coupon code for uh, a small little discount for these filters. I am. I don't often endorse products that I don't believe in and haven't used for a while. And this is one from packaging to manufacture, execution, attention to detail, and quality is one that I can wholeheartedly say, yep, I'm going to be using this for many, many years to come. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave comments below if you want, and I look forward to presenting the next video to you. All right, folks, have a great day.